Hi, my name is Melissa Raymond, and today I am going to be teaching a lesson on segmenting out of the book Making Sense of Phonics from page 38. Um, segmenting is um, breaking apart words into the individual phoneme or individual sounds. Um, so let's get started. And I'm going to be using an Elkanen box or sound boxes. And you'll also need chips for that. If you don't have chips, you can always use math manipulatives like these or coins, anything that kids can push their sounds upon. I've found that kids really love doing this activity. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's get started. Today we are going to practice saying sounds and words. We're going to say the sounds and words. As we say each sound, we're going to move one chip into our cards. Let's point to the box where our first sound is going to go. Great job. In the word thin, I hear three sounds. I'm going to move one chip into my card for each sound I say. Watch me as I do it. In, in. All right, let's do one together now. Okay. Dad. Do it on your card. D. A. D. How many sounds was that? Yeah, it was three sounds. All right, now it's your turn. How about the word in? Did you get two chips? I, mm, I think I tricked you that time. In, two sounds. Here's your next word. How about the word day? Duh, A. Two sounds again. All right, let's try another one. How about the word man? Mm, eh, mm. How many sounds was that? Yeah, it was three sounds. Okay. How about the word tin? Did you say three? T, I, mm. Three sounds in tin. Here's your last one. If. Did you get it? Two sounds. If, I, f, two sounds. Great job. All right, so you can try this with your students. My students have loved doing segmenting with the Elkin boxes. And like I said, you can get trickier by doing bigger boxes, by doing blends and die graphs with it. They make them bigger. They even go down to the two, um, when you're first starting out with them. So hope this activity works for you. Thank you. Bye.